Hello viewers, in today's session we are going to discuss a very important problem from functions related to a domain and range, right? So here uh, we have a problem in which we have to find the domain and range of uh, this function that is f of x is equal to x plus 3 minus greatest integer of x minus 3, right? So here uh, we have a function f of x which is a combination of a polynomial function because x plus 1 is a polynomial function and greatest integer of x minus 3 uh, this is a greatest integer uh, function right so let us so let us first find out the domain of this function now uh, we know that uh, by domain of a function uh, we take all the valid values of x uh, valid values of x for which the function f of x is defined right and here uh, we see that uh, this function uh, f of x uh, has the domain uh, as the set of real numbers because uh, for all values of x this function f of x is defined right so the domain of uh, this function is the set of all uh, real numbers now let us find out the range of this function so now to find out the range of this function uh, we have to make use of one important property of uh, a greatest integer function right so uh, here uh, we will first derive the uh, property uh, which is going to be used to find out the range of this function so we know that the fractional part of x is given by x minus greatest integer of x. So this is the definition of fractional part of x, right? And we know that uh, the uh, range of fractional part function, it lies between a 0 and 1. Or in other words, we can say that fractional part of x, it belongs to the uh, interval uh, 0 comma 1 so here uh, 0 is included that is it is closed from left and open from uh, right right so here uh, we have this important inequality so now if we take uh, the fractional part of x as x minus greatest integer of x which is less than 1 right so now uh, let us add a uh, greatest integer of x uh, throughout this inequality so what we will do will add greatest integer of x throughout so we get uh, here a uh, greatest integer of x and then here we have x because uh, uh, greatest integer of x uh, get cancelled and here we have uh, greatest in integer of x uh, plus 1 right so here we have 1 so now we have uh, this important inequality uh, which is uh, going to be used to find out the range of uh, this function f of x. So now in general uh, we can also write this inequality as greatest integer of p uh, less than or equal to p less than greatest integer of p plus 1. Right. So now uh, let us replace this p by uh, x minus 3 because here in this function f of x we have greatest integer of x minus 3. So let us replace uh, p by x minus 3. So what we will get uh, we will have greatest integer of x minus 3 less than or equal to x minus 3 and here we have greatest integer of x minus 3 plus 1 right okay so now uh, here we have uh, this inequality and now what we will do uh, we'll uh, subtract a uh, greatest integer of x minus 3 throughout uh, this inequality right so we'll subtract greatest integer of x minus 3 
throughout this inequality. So here we have greatest integer of x minus 3 minus greatest integer of x minus 3 and here we have x minus 3 minus greatest integer of x minus 3 and then uh, here we have uh, less than uh, that is greater than uh, greatest integer of x minus 3 plus 1 minus greatest integer of x minus 3 right so here uh, these two terms get cancelled here also these two terms get cancelled so here we are left with 0 and then we have less than or equal to x minus 3 minus greatest integer of x minus 3 less than 1. So now we have this inequality right now see uh, here f of x is equal to x plus 1 minus greatest integer of x minus 3 and here we have uh, greatest integer of x minus 3 and here we have x minus 3 and here we have x plus 1 so to get uh, uh, x plus 1 here what we will do I uh, will add uh, 4 uh, throughout this inequality so we'll get uh, 0 plus 4 here then we have x minus 3 uh, minus greatest integer of x minus 3 plus 4 and here we have 1 plus 4 right so this is 4 and here uh, minus 3 plus 4 is 1 so we have x plus 1 minus greatest integer of x minus 3 and here we have 5 right and now we can see that this expression is equal to f of x so we have 4 less than or equal to f of x which is less than uh, 5 so viewers uh, we have seen that uh, 4 is uh, less than or equal to f of x and here we have uh, less than uh, 5. So now we know that uh, if we are given a function f of x and if we have two sets say a and b and the function is from uh, set a to set b and then this set A is known as the domain set and it has uh, the uh, all values of x and this set B is known as the codomain and all the uh, images of uh, the elements of uh, set A uh, constitute the range of the function, right? So if we have a function from A to B, then here we have f of x. So f of x is known as the range of uh, the function. So x is the input and f of x is the range. And here this inequality shows that uh, the range, uh, it lies between 4 and 5, including 4 but excluding 5, right? So the range of the function is given by the set uh, the interval that is 4 comma 5 right so uh, it is closed from uh, the, the left hand side and open from the right hand side so this is the uh, range of uh, this function f of 